Our special Halloween fun continues on the magical world of Disney. From Tim Burton, the director of such blockbuster films as Batman and Beetlejuice, comes a shocking tale about a boy and his dog. Stay tuned for the electrifying chiller, Frank and Weenie, on the magical world of Disney. Next. The following presentation has been closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Tonight on the magical world of Disney, go on an incredible adventure. Excitement! <laughs> Hop on for an hilarious ride with Mr. Toad. He's one of the jolliest chaps I've ever run across. Then hold on for a night of Halloween surprises. You'll never get me to give this up. When it's trick or treat with Ichabod Crane. The adventures of Ichabod. And Mr. Toad on the magical world of Disney. Next, the Sunday Night Showcase Beatles Festival continues with a tribute to John Lennon. Then it's Frank Capra's romantic comedy, It Happened One Night, followed by The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, tonight on the Disney Channel. month on the best of Hollywood. A host of legendary stars come out to shine in two unforgettable films. Well, that is just about the best news I have ever heard. From one of the screen's most extravagant musicals. Look at that man, Horace. Oh, what grace, what talent. To a favorite movie classic. Pops, you've been just wonderful. I love you. It's a collection of some of Hollywood's biggest names in two great Academy Award nominated films. Uh, are you going to marry this character? I guess so. In the original classic, Spencer Tracy and Elizabeth Taylor star in the matrimonial masterpiece, Father of the Bride. Put on your Sunday clothes when you feel down. And director Gene Kelly brings to the screen one of Hollywood's most spectacular musicals. Barbara Streisand, Walter Matthau, and Michael Crawford in... It's all right here. Great stars and fabulous feature films this month on the best of Hollywood. Walt Disney is proud to present the good, the bad, and the extremely wicked. Kill her. See the trials and tribulations of those unbelievable, unadmired, and totally unappreciated bad guys. Have a bite. The villains. No! No! Don't miss the best of the worst on the best of Walt Disney Presents, our unsung villains. Thirty years ago this month, John Kennedy informed the American people that reconnaissance flights had detected Russian nuclear missile sites in Cuba. The United States and the Soviet Union teetered on the brink of global thermonuclear war. For seven days, the country lived with the reality that total devastation could be just 30 seconds away. The American legacy takes a look back at the frightening days of October 1962. Cuba, the missile crisis. They were the worst bunch of pilots to ever hit the Pacific. Those guys are all screw up. Ready to fight the enemy or each other at the drop of a strike. Only one officer was tough enough to whip them into shape. I'm supposed to decide who's going to be court-martial and who's going to be allowed to go back into action. And when he finally got them flying, the enemy didn't stand a chance. Robert Conrad is Greg Pappy Boynton, a true American hero in Flying Misfits. His music is as timeless and relevant today as it was a generation ago. He revolutionized our music and our culture. This man was John Lennon. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try.
Bubba's 